Hey guys, it's Amy from The Final Countdown. One more video and I promise I'm done. Um, I've kind of been gone for a little bit. So in case you guys might have been wondering, um, me and my husband went on vacation for our one year married... Oh, excuse me. I cannot talk today. Our one year marriage anniversary. And we decided to go to Eureka Springs. We stayed at the Crescent Hotel. Which is, if you don't know and if you're not from this area, is one of the most haunted hotels in America. It's the most beautiful building. It was built in 1886 and it was actually a hotel for the wealthy and the well-to-do. And um, eventually it was sold to different people and um, it was a girls college, it was a conservatory for women something or other. But it's most notably known for when Norman Baker was there. Norman Baker was claiming that he could cure cancer without x-ray and radium and all these other drugs. And unfortunately, he never cured anybody. And he actually um, tortured people. And he would take their organs out and study the cancerous cells and stuff. Which... It seems like we were all in agreement. He may have had good intentions, but he just went about it all the wrong way. Um, we got to go on the ghost tour. It was absolutely amazing. Um, we didn't see anything, but, you know, Nick kind of had a weird experience to where he kind of got a little dizzy. Um, but, <coughs> overall, we were not harmed. We survived the night, and we had a couple funky experiences but other than all, we came home safe and we were fine so if you want to check it out do it it was absolutely amazing um we stayed in one of the honeymoon suites it was amazing there was a jacuzzi which was the most relaxing thing other than the next day we had our massage we had an hour long massage and it was so nice i mean from head to toe i was relaxed i could not believe how amazing um that was because I've had a 30 minute massage before and it was really great, don't get me wrong. But, um, it, it, it was really relaxing. Anyway, we walked around the town. <sighs> we constantly complained about how bad their roads are and how they, you know, were built onto the side of a mountain and people drove crazy. But, I mean, it was fun. We went to the Intrigue Theater and saw a magician and a medium. And the the magic was really awesome. The medium we were a little disappointed in because it almost seemed like... Mm, we were hoping for something else, I think. And it, it was entertaining. Don't get me wrong. you got to take it as what it is, which is entertainment. And it was fun. It was interesting. You should go check them out. Very nice people. Um, and that's one thing that we noticed on our trip, everybody was so nice. Um, and I, it might be because, you know, they were born and raised in a tourist town, or, you know, they work in a tourist town and they're making money from this. So, of course, they need to be nice and helpful and, you know, be mindful of the consumer, which is great. But, I mean, everybody was just happy to help and nice, and I wish more people would go up there and learn. Learn how to be nice and respectful and take care of your customers. Um, let's see. Now, I will tell you the New Moon Spa was absolutely amazing. Um, I happened to grab their body lotion out of my room, which is grapefruit and sage. And I, I can still smell it, and I put it on probably two hours ago. It's absolutely lovely. It's lovely. It's very citrusy. And it glides on so beautifully. I mean, it's not like some of those thicker lotions where you got to, like, really rub it around and mo it moves easily. And it's absolutely beautiful. And then, let's see. Um, I will have to say, Pied Piper and their um, corned beef and cabbage. Oh, my God. Okay, that's one thing, guys. Okay. I know I'm supposed to be working out. I'm supposed to be eating healthy and losing weight. On my vacation, I took the four or five days we were gone to eat whatever I wanted. And I think it's important, though, because if you deprive yourself, and even on vacation, you're constantly worried about how many calories does this have, you know, should I just order a salad? Like, it's going to drive you insane, okay? You're supposed to relax. I had the best steak at the um, 1886 um, steakhouse at the Crescent. It was amazing. It was well overpriced, especially for the demographic. But overall, it was really good, and they were really nice people. 
the corned beef and cabbage at the Pied Piper, um, which is just a little kind of like bar and grill um, down to the entrance of downtown. Oh my god! I could sing the present. And the cook, Coulter, is 18 years old. 18! And I told the lady, because um, she kind of seemed like maybe she was the owner or one of the managers. I told her, take care of that young man, because he is absolutely, if he can cook that well and prepare these meals that good at 18, just imagine what he can do in 10 years when he's 28, or 38, or 40. I mean, maybe he wouldn't want to stay there his entire career, but I want that young man to go somewhere. He was amazing. Um, absolutely wonderful young man. He even came out and, uh, you know, he was the one who came and gave us our menus there. Absolutely wonderful young man. So kudos. And Coulter, if you're watching this, show this to your parents. And, like, kudos parents for raising such an amazing young man. Um, see, what's next? I think that's about all we did in Eureka. You know, we did so many things. We saw many things. We picked up several souvenirs, mostly shot glasses. Because that's something, A, we can use. <laughs> Oh, we can use, um, B, we can, you know, put up and still look at them. It's not like they're going to sit in a drawer or something and we'll never see them again. And then, um, let's see, the, the next day we decided to leave out and head for, um, Branson. We were only going to have about, like, a day, day and a half there. Um, and, of course, we got lost plenty of times, which kind of made it fun, really, um, because we were just trying to figure it out. Um, <sighs> I guess I'm still tired from that vacation. Because uh, we often stayed up way too late. Um, we made it to Branson. We went to the Seven Gables Inn, which is um, on Highway 65 Business. It's right off the strip. I mean, it's like, you know, you walk up the hill to the corner and then you're on the strip. Um... Right close to the Titanic Museum, if you know where that's at. Which we did go to see, and I'll talk about in a minute. Um, let's see. We, um, got to our rooms, and we basically left. <laughs> we left our stuff, we, you know, freshened up a little bit, and then we headed down to the landing. Which is like, it's like a boardwalk. The only thing that I wish is they would have built it all on one side, that we could still see the river. Kids did not go with us. <laughs> Alright, go on, guys. Uh-uh. Go on. Thank you. Little hopper. <sighs> but anyway, so uh, we got um, down to the landing and we walked around a little bit. We actually decided to go to Joe's Crab Shack. I had never, ever, ever been to one. And it was funny because... I was looking at the occupancy sign, and we had waited for 50 minutes just to get in, and I'm like, surely to God there's not 245 people here. There were probably 200 people there. No joke. And it was it was loud, and I couldn't hear anything, and I couldn't hear the waitress, and I was just like, what did we get ourselves into? This is going to be miserable, and I'm going to be miserable all night. And I ordered, what did I order? I think it's the Joe's Steam Pot. It's the Joe's Original or something like that. And it came with two different types of crab, plenty of shrimp, some potatoes, and a long ear of corn. Oh my god. I might have spent two hours trying to eat that food, but oh my god, it was the best two hours of my life. Um, I did order a drink, and I was really excited that I got to um, take my glass home with me. Which was really cool. Like, I'm still excited that my Joe's Crab Shack glass is right over there. Um, but yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, the only thing we could complain about is that it was so busy and so loud. I mean, it, it was Friday night. It, like, we knew. It's not like we were unreasonable about it. We just wish we could have... We like to talk, you know? We're not that couple that just sits there and eats. We actually like to talk to each other and, like, converse and, like, Stuff like that. But anyway, it was absolutely amazing. Thank you to Carla. She was absolutely wonderful. Um, I also tried the peach cobbler. I love peach cobbler. And I, like I said, guys, <laughs> I did not follow a diet. I did not watch what I ate. Now, I did not drink any sodas at all. Um, other than that, I ate whatever I wanted. 
<laughs> and it was amazing. Um, ironically, I didn't lose it, or I didn't gain any weight, but it's probably because we walked so much. So, I mean, I definitely, um, you know, equaled out those calories by walking so darn much. But, I mean, it was really cool. And then we, um, after that, we went back to the hotel, and then we went to the Ghost of Branson's ghost tour. And because it's the slow season, we were the only ones there, me and my husband and Dr. Chuck Kennedy. He is absolutely amazing. If you've ever done a ghost tour before, you know, a lot of times you don't see anything. You might catch something in a picture. Um, but Dr. Chuck Kennedy is the real deal. I mean, he actually has a Ph.D. in neuroscience, and he understands, like, he even kind of explains to you in a scientific teaching way, you know, how it works. He's experimented. He's been all over the country. He, you know, and you can tell he wholeheartedly believes it. And he's an educated person. He is has a doctorate in neuroscience. And he was expa explaining things like the amygdala is where um, your brain tries to interpret things to where, like, if you see something, um, especially... Like, um, like, you know, like we see Jesus on toast, or we see a face on a wall, or in the dust, or, you know, whatever. That's our amygdala trying to recognize. I mean, that's what it's trying to do. It's trying to recognize something we know. And then often it goes to faces, because, um, anyway. Absolutely amazing. He took his equipment around with us and showed us different pictures. He showed us, or he, um, let us listen to several different recordings. Um, he explained how he did things. I mean, he was totally open about his process and what he used, and it was absolutely amazing. It wasn't just history. It was actually science, too. And, I mean, I'm sorry. Every time I say that, I just think of Bill Nye the Science Guy. Science rules, you know? Uh, inertia is the property of matter. It, I guess that was my generation, right? You know, you love, if you love Bill Nye the Science Guy, like this video. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so that was absolutely amazing, and, and because we were by ourselves, we were able to, um, share our stories, he was able to, you know, tell us a little more about our stories, he even told us, you know, about a, I don't know if I've told you guys, our house is a little bit haunted, and he was even telling us about one of them that likes to crouch down, might have in life had a heart problem, because, um, people who have congestive heart failure, failure, if they kind of, like, hunker down and kind of kneel down, it actually helps them breathe better. I mean, come on. Like, seriously, that's pretty convincing. Um, you know, that the guy knows what he's talking about. Um, so that was absolutely amazing. We stayed out in Branson walking around for two and a half hours out into two, two o'clock in the morning. It was absolutely an amazing experience. Um, I might have caught something, and if I did, I'll try to share it over on the blog so you can you guys can see it. It's, it's pretty cool, guys. Um, because you just don't know what it is. It's unexplainable. It's kind of like a UFO. You just don't know what it is. Um, but it looks weird. Um... So we wrapped up the day, um, the next day, um, <laughs> we packed up our bags, got out of our hotel, and then I went to Ulta. Y'all should see my Ulta haul video. Excuse me. Oh, that's terrible. I don't know how to edit that out. <laughs> my Ulta haul video, which was absolutely amazing and great experience, and I say, if you're in the Branson area, go to Branson Hills Parkway Ulta. Um, which you can go see the products I found and the experience I had over on that video. Because this one's trying to get long too! No! Oh! And I dropped my phone! That just goes to show I'm talking too much, right? But, um, we ended up going to Ulta and then we went to the Titanic Museum. Now, I will tell you the Titanic Museum is $54 for us two adults. That's a little excessive. I mean... It was really cool, don't get me wrong. And maybe the prices are high because they have so much cool stuff or so many cool things um, that probably cost a lot of money to have there or they have to pay plenty of people to keep them there. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but it was expensive. Um, we didn't really use the headset thing because it was like we were reading the same thing that we were hearing. Um, but other than that, it was absolutely amazing. It was very educational. And it was a lot of fun. Um, we didn't buy the pictures afterwards, but here's the fun thing. Okay, they have this little machine 
that cools the water to the exact temperature it was on the night of the Titanic. And they have a challenge. You're supposed to keep your finger in the water for a minute. All right. And then after two minutes or after that, you're supposed to put your entire hand down into the um, water um, until two minutes. And then at two minutes, you're supposed to start trying to wiggle your fingers. And you're supposed to try to keep your hand in there for three minutes. I did not actually get that far. I mean, I didn't make it to two minutes. It was probably a minute and a half, a minute. <sighs> Yeah, it was probably about a minute and a half because my hand hurt so bad. I mean, it was almost like somebody was sticking a knife through the palm of my hand. Um, and it, it's just thinking about your whole body being like that. Um, it, it really made you think. And the funny, not the funny thing, the weird thing about it that me and my husband were both talking about is, you know, they have items that belong to dead people in there, you know. The people actually died, and we're wondering about the negative energy and if the place is actually haunted. <laughs> because, I mean, when you when you have something that is so emotional that happened, and then you're taking a piece of um, that person's property, um, if there's any energy connected to it, which I don't know if you guys believe in stuff like that, and it's fun if you don't. This is just what we were discussing. Um, you know, it could lead to the haunting and that energy being there. So, um, and it was also very sad because, I mean, you're talking about people dying, um, you know, and there's also those great stories of survival, um, they actually handed us a card and with a person's biography on the back and by the end of the tour you were able to see if you lived or died. My character lived, Nick's char character died, and I told him I'd miss him so much. <laughs> but anyway... Um, it, it was very interesting, it's very educational, um, it's one of those things, I don't know if I'd go back, it was cool the first time, I was really annoyed that they didn't allow, um, photography of any kind, because, you know me, I want to take a thousand pictures, um, especially, like, there's some Masonic things, my dad's a Mason, and I wanted to, like, be like, hey dad, yeah, look at these cool things that they have here. Um, and I'm sure he could have explained what they were and told me stories about it and, um, but yeah, no, I can't because I couldn't take any pictures. Um, after that we decided to head home after plenty of great food, plenty of great people. We, we had an amazing time and I don't think I've laughed and been that happy so many days in a row in my entire life. I mean, it was absolutely amazing, and I'm so thankful to my wonderful husband for taking care of all of it. I know it could have been stressful. It probably was stressful trying to, you know, um, figure everything out, where we're going, how much money we're spending, budgeting. Like, he took care of it all, and he was absolutely amazing. He drove the entire way there and back, and I just can't be thankful enough to have him in my life and to be so blessed to have him. Um... If you're out there and you're watching this and you're like, oh, well, you know, and you're being negative and you're single and you can't find a husband or you don't want a husband, like, that's okay. You know, find find that other person in your life that makes you extremely happy. It just happens that it's my husband. Um, you know, don't give up. Don't settle. He's, it's almost like he was stitched out of part of my soul because he is absolutely amazing he makes me so happy and he loves me for me and if you're out there and single and you're watching this and you're feeling a little sad and like you'll never meet anybody I was with somebody else for seven years before I met him and you know now we've been married a year and yeah we've had our tough spots but you know what I have never been more in love with somebody in my entire life and that's saying something you know he is an amazing man he loves me he loves our children and it's absolutely amazing Mama so there's cereal in my room how did he get cereal in your room With him bowl. what bowl he y'all finished breakfast like two hours ago like in bowl. It was like cup. okay well do me a favor and pick it up please Mark, go help. Go help pick up your mess. <laughs> Don't you guys love it when I have to be interrupted? Like, eh. 
is going long enough as it is. Alright, guys. Like, basically all I'm saying is, is grown-up only vacations are amazing. I feel amazing. I feel more rested and more relaxed. And I'm better easily to handle things like that. I don't know if you heard. Apparently there's some cereal in the other room. That made a mess. So, I'm going to go help them with that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If y'all are considering having a grown-up only vacation, I highly suggest it. Um, because you can have fun. And we noticed throughout our trip several times where like, it was so easy just to like get out and go to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, we didn't have to take two kids out and then put them on the pot and then, you know, everything like that. It, it was easy. It was kind of nice just to relax. And it's worth it. Um, if you have the money to be able to do it, go check out the Crescent Hotel, um, Seven Green, uh, se se blah, 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 Seven Gables Inn. Wonderful, nice people. They were so nice. Um, very clean rooms. Um, and then all the various places I've mentioned, like, check them out. They were absolutely, we had such a wonderful time. We I don't think we could really complain about anything other than traffic. So I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I hope this has kind of inspired you to kind of check some places out. Go on vacation. Have some fun. So I'm sending you lots of love and peace from me to you on your journey. Have a wonderful day.